When it comes to identifying and characterizing plants and trees or things that we deem as nature, us humans like to compartmentalize and organize things and put them into nice neat little boxes like this type of tree has this type of leaf, no questions asked. But nature? It's kind of wiggly and it doesn't like to fit into our nice neat little boxes so easily. And researchers have recently found that coast redwoods or sequoia sempervirens like these beauties here actually have two different types of leaves that perform radically different roles. See, when the trees are young and in the understory, like this one here, they'll only have one type of leaf, which is this really flat splaying leaf here that's uh, really good at soaking up sunlight as they grow in the understory here. That's because at this point, sunlight is their main concern for growth. And at this small size, they're still able to draw up enough water for th photosynthesis through their root system. However, once they grow large and penetrate the canopy, they will continue to have those flat splaying leaves that soak up sunlight lower down on the tree and up top, but it becomes much harder for them to draw the water they need to photosynthesize up from the roots through such a long trunk that can be 350 feet in the air. So at this point, water becomes the limiting factor for growth. And that's up there in the canopy that they form a new type of leaf known as an axial shoot. Instead of wide spreading needles that might be better at soaking up more sunlight that you might expect up that high, these leaves are scale-like and columnar, kind of more resembling that of a giant sequoia leaf, but adapted to be much waxier with more wide open stomata, which allows them to absorb more water through the air via foliar uptake. This is because sunlight is less of a limiting growth factor for them in these warmer climates, but instead, it's water, which tends to be really scarce in the summertime, and having these types of leaves helps them absorb more water from the air in the thick fog that blankets this coastline. While on the biggest trees that can make up less than 5% of their total leaves, these axial shoots are responsible for over 30% of the tree's foliar uptake, which is a really unique adaptation for trees in this part of the world that allows them to just flourish here. You know, just another gorgeous example of life adapting and evolving in unique ways to not only survive, but thrive in their environments, to keep on keeping on, and a a pleasant, humbling reminder of how little we truly know about these species and these ecosystems. Pretty dang neat, don't you think?